Hi guys, it's Enlissa here, so welcome to another speed build. So today I am building another family home, and this time I am building in Oasis Springs, which I had so much fun with because I haven't built in this world in a really long time, so I really enjoyed that. But also I am building in a Mediterranean style, which is also something I haven't done in a long time. So it was just really refreshing, and I had a lot of fun with it, and I hope you guys will like it. Mediterranean styles are actually some of my favorite homes in real life. Like I love looking at pictures of them. I I just, I love them so much, but I find them a lot harder to build than like suburbia type houses in The Sims. So it's not something that I go to that often, but I really did enjoy it and I hope you guys do like the way it turns out. I actually, I think the last time I built in this style was for my 1000 subscriber special. So it's been some time now, but if you guys are at all interested, I will link that video in the description because you might like that house. I mean, the video quality isn't that great, I will warn you, and the sound quality because I did record that video before I had a proper gaming computer. I still used my laptop at the time and I didn't have a real microphone. I think I was still using a headset microphone. <laughs> so it's just, it's not that great. But um, the house is nice, I think. I really liked it. <laughs> it was like a dream house build. So um, yeah, you can check it out if you would like to. But anyways, so this house is a family home, like I said, and it took me some time to get this whole front area situated. I was looking at a couple different pictures and one in particular I really liked, but I couldn't quite get the effect of the house that it had in the picture on Pinterest. So I did make a few changes, but I am really happy with the way it turned out. And I loved using those turquoise doors. I tried, okay, I am calling this a colorful home for a reason because it is pretty colorful at least for me like I was really stepping out of my comfort zone in this house I feel like I'm a pretty safe builder when it comes to color like I'm pretty neutral I'm pretty pretty mild when it comes to color anyways so um I tried to step out of my comfort zone and do something a little bit different I mean the exterior isn't super colorful the the flowers like the ivy has a lot of color because they're like pink and or red are they red or pink I don't know they're bright colored anyways and then we have the turquoise doors but the house itself is white which is pretty simple but I think it adds a nice contrast and it makes it not too overpowering with all the color but the interior I really tried to make colorful I used a lot of stuff from jungle adventure so if you don't have that pack this house might not be exactly for you to download because it probably wouldn't have the same effect but of course you can download it if you would like to and change a few things but um yeah so a lot of jungle adventure lots of color and i had a lot of fun with it it's a four bedroom house so it's a pretty big house i, I forgot for a second how big it was so i did build this earlier this week i shared a couple of pictures on pinterest and a lot of you guys over there seem to like it so i've been very excited to share this build with you guys now the back of the house I end up putting a bunch of windows up here on this little top part that sticks out. Now I do change it, I believe, off camera because I ended up having to do the floor plan off camera because it was so difficult. <laughs> it was such a hard floor plan and uh, so I did change the windows a little bit because it just looked better because that's where the master bedroom ends up being and I felt like the windows were a little bit too much so I do change that off camera so you'll notice that change here in a little while and here I just shrunk the porch a little bit instead of making it a wraparound I just made it like a side porch and balcony and I think that looks a lot better and I really liked using those windows that came with get together they're like an arched window they looked really pretty so I really liked those and the other windows I believe came with uh, seasons and then yeah using the jungle adventure doors so I used a number of packs in this build but here I am placing the ivy on the side of the house and it looks it's so pretty <laughs> during summertime in this build in Oasis Springs it's so brightly colored and lit up it looks really nice now I am using reshade in this build because as I mentioned in my last video I downloaded reshade because of the blurriness that has happened with the screenshots in game since the latest patch and instead of uninstalling it for my videos I'm just gonna keep it in and I really like it I always forget how much I like reshade because I have used it before for a while and now I'm using it again so if you are interested I will link the video um, that I got the reshade from which was um, by Hey Harry so I linked it in the last video but I will link it again in case any of you guys are interested I mean there's tons of presets you guys can download it, there's so much variety anyways it's a lot of fun and I am placing a pool over here and I actually really like the yard space it took me a while because I was gonna add this fountain in the front here I end up getting rid of all of that and moving the house closer to the street that way I have actual backyard space because at this point I mean there would have been an okay size backyard but it would have been 
a little bit too narrow I think to add as much stuff as I wanted to so I end up being able to add like a large sandbox area with a bunch of toys and I think I get the swing set back there I think I get the toddler slide and a little kitty swimming pool and what else I think some planter boxes and a dining area whole bunch of stuff and then as for the landscaping I kept it pretty green but I did add splashes of color here and there I tried to not overdo it because I didn't want too many like I don't know too many different types of flowers but I really like the way it turned out but here I am moving the house closer to the street and for whatever reason even though I didn't go off the lot it deleted the fence kind of weird how that happens but um yeah so I didn't end up keeping the fountain in the front but I do have a fountain in the backyard because that's something that I really like about these more Mediterranean style houses is all the like fountains and different fixtures and stuff as some of you guys know that have been around for a while I did live in California for eight years and now I'm up in Oregon but um, my husband and I at one point had we bought a house we had to sell it within like a year because of work and stuff but whatever it's fine um, but that was a Mediterranean style home and I loved it we had like an a little courtyard area in the front of the house that had a fountain and it was so pretty I loved that house so much and we had a bunch of ivy in the back it was wonderful it wasn't the best location of a house though because it was right on like a couple busy streets so I was really worried about my cats all the time because they like to go outside but anyways um yeah I love that house and so I was really in love with this style in general and I add some pretty tiling to the bottom of the pool I thought that was kind of a nice detail and just very happy about that now you will notice that I do skip over some of this exterior work some of the landscaping just because it was really repetitive and I didn't think you guys really needed to see me place the same plants over and over again in basically the same way oh yeah we do get a gazebo out here I almost forgot about that now I actually forgot to decorate the interior of the, the gazebo and I went to go take the screenshots and I'm like oh my god it's completely empty so I did decorate it off camera so you guys will have to check that out in the screenshots I do apologize it wasn't on purpose I guess I could have recorded it when I went to go take the screenshots but I didn't so sorry about that but um, I really just add a couple of seats and then I think a fire pit um, nothing too too crazy or special but it looks really nice in the end now this back area I really really like the way it turned out something that I've never exactly done before I mean I've done sandboxes in the Sims plenty of times but this one I made like a giant sandbox which I think is really over the top and really cool so yeah I don't know I think it'd be fun I mean this house I did make for a big family I did a nursery I did a kids room and a teen room so I really wanted there just to be a whole lot of activities and space in the backyard for them to all hang out especially since this house is built in Oasis Springs I imagine the weather most of the year is pretty nice like so why not have a nice backyard but here I am just adding some flowers behind the sandbox just to kind of tie it all in and the water balloon bucket because I think that item is so cute and oh yeah I added that little block play thing I'm not exactly sure what it's called your sims can like build blocks on it but added that into the sandbox as well and then over here is where I end up adding that fountain that I mentioned I think it's just so peaceful right next to the gazebo and it just kind of the water trickling down through the fountain it's so nice and the view from the kitchen because the dining area is actually in those large windows right right there in that little kind of octagon shaped room that's pokes out of the bottom of the house um, the view from that area is so pretty I really really like it and then over here I do a couple of makeshift lounge chairs I just merge an ottoman with some stool or not stools um, with some regular chairs <laughs> why did I think I have such a hard time thinking of chairs but um yeah I think I ended up using the ones yeah these ones that just came with seasons and merged those in I think the Ottomans came with spa day if I remember correctly and then a dining area as well as a barbecue and this little decoration that I end up pulling out here in a second is one of my favorite items and it came with backyard stuff pack and it is so cute it's got like little mustard and ketchups and napkins that little item right there so I put that on the stool next to the barbecue so it's got all your condiments and things you would need for a nice barbecue but now I'm just making the final touches to the exterior I get some wind chimes in because those are so nice to have and then I think I get a trash can out here and do some final touches with the landscape right under these three little palm trees out in the front I really liked landscaping on this build it was really fun to do but now we're on to the interior and like I mentioned I did have to cut out the floor plan so I do apologize I know a lot of you guys like seeing that come together but sometimes it's such a nightmare like I really I think I tr must have tried eight different floor plan ideas it was 
it was really difficult. So hopefully you guys do like the one I came up with. I mean, I'm sure so many people could do it better, but um, anyways, so I'm decorating the entryway, the front foyer area, and I do a little seat and a mirror and just kind of little decorations. It's pretty open when you walk in, the staircase is to the left and then immediately to the right, it has uh, this open archway that leads into the living room. Now, you may notice that there is a chimney on the exterior, and I could not, for the life of me, find a good place to put a fireplace on the interior of this build. So I ended up not putting a fireplace in here at all. So, I mean, the chimney is just for looks, which I think is fine. It doesn't really bother me too much, but I really wanted there to be a fireplace just because they're super cozy to have on homes, but maybe a house like this necessarily wouldn't have a fireplace, but Oh well, uh, I'm over it, <laughs> I guess. Um, but I just decorated this little table with some knickknacks and stuff and I think that looks really nice. Now probably my favorite room in this entire house is the living area and I think the most difficult parts were the hallways because there's quite a few hallways in this build so they're a bit, I mean, they're not necessarily awkward because I feel like hallways are definitely really realistic and I think that makes the floor plan a little bit better and it makes a little bit more sense and flows better. But, um, yeah, I had a hard time decorating them. I guess it was just maybe this style it was a little bit more difficult for me. So now I could have added a chimney or a fireplace to that back wall, but I really wanted to do an L-shaped couch again. It's something I've been doing a lot recently. I just really like it and it kind of makes me feel like we have new furniture, even though we just got these couches with seasons. And I'm still so obsessed with them, by the way. I really had a lot of fun using this yellow color with the orange and purple cushions. I don't know what it is about that color combination. I really like it. And it's not something I would be able to use in an everyday sort of build that I do. But in this one, I felt like it worked perfectly. And I was also able to use that new Seasons rug that is kind of, I don't, it's weirdly shaped. This one right here, I, it's kind of shaped like an avocado or something. Um, but I haven't really found a good place to use it yet. I've seen other people use it in like regular suburbia type houses and it looks great. But I don't know, whatever, for whatever reason, my brain does not work that way. But I was able to get it to work in this house and I was very happy with the way it turned out. And I have been having a lot of fun using this little square coffee table. Actually, it's a display table, I think, that came with Get to Work. So if you go to find it, it's in surfaces but under miscellaneous so it doesn't actually show up in your coffee tables or side tables but it's the perfect size if you just want a little table to put in a small area if you do like an l-shaped couch or something so i don't know very happy with the way this little living room area turns out now i think later on once we start decorating the interior i do go back to that room and then add some curtains just because i felt like they were kind of it wasn't complete without curtains, but at the time when I was decorating, I felt like they were too bulky and took up too much space, but I got over it in the end and um, yeah, put some in there later. But this is the downstairs bathroom, so it's the only one downstairs, and I do turn it into a laundry room as well, and I use those yellow washer and dryers, which I, I, had, I had a lot of fun with color. Now, I'm telling you, I, really, I get kind of nervous about using colors sometimes. I don't know why, I guess I'm just not that confident with it, but in this build, I really went all out. So I hope you guys do like it. I'm very interested to hear what your guys' opinions on it. I mean, I'm pleased with it, and I guess that's that's what matters is if I like my build. But um, uh, yeah, I kind of went with a pretty overpowering yellow color scheme. So maybe if you don't like yellow, it may not be the build for you, but I think I didn't go too over the top with it, but I was really happy to be able to use some items that I just don't get to use that much in builds. Like these countertops that have the yellow on the top and the brown on the bottom. I just really like that. But I felt like we needed a little bit of cooler tones throughout the house and this blue matched the top of the wallpaper in the bathroom so it has the tiling on the bottom and then it has blue like this soft blue color that you see me using now i thought this one was um, a pretty good match so i end up putting it as an accent wall throughout the house just to kind of cool it down a little bit and i thought it matched really well now you will notice there is a little room off to the right that looks like it's going to be another bathroom and that was my plan to have a laundry room and a bathroom but that one was a pretty good size to have a bathroom um, and a laundry room combo so I ended up making that part of the kitchen which I'm so happy I did because it makes the kitchen a lot better and the kitchen ends up having a pretty unique shape that I don't know I feel like it's pretty nice and it's different to one that I've normally normally would do and I did exchange these windows for a different one just so the countertops weren't covering up the windows because that's something that bothers me in kitchens is when countertops 
cover up windows. Now you will notice there's a couple of windows to the right of this area that I'm working on where the stove and refrigerator are. And I end up getting rid of those in the end. I was trying to make them work and trying to get over my kind of problem with windows being in weird spots next to counters. I don't know why I have such a problem with it, but I do. And um, I end up getting rid of those windows in the end because I couldn't get over it. And to kind of cover up the awkward space on the back porch, I just cover it up with more of that really pretty reddish ivy that I used on the rest of the build. And then this is the little dining area. So now you can see that there are those large windows and it is such a beautiful view. Like the screenshots, I think, really really show the view really nicely so hope you guys do enjoy those and I think this kitchen does turn out really cute so you see I'm just messing with those windows I thought it really wasn't that big of a deal but I don't know I couldn't let it slide I guess in the end and then just adding some decorations to the countertops I didn't want to over clutter them but I got like a coffee pot and a dish rack and that little bread thing what do you call that that little box that you put bread in what is that called there's a proper name for it and I cannot think of it but um, anyways, I didn't want to over clutter up the counters. I wanted them to be pretty usable and really happy with the way this kitchen turned out. I really liked using this tile that I used from Jungle Adventure, the one that's on the walls. I think it is so, so pretty. <laughs> really, really happy with the way that turned out. And I also end up using some of those like plaques that came with Jungle Adventure as well that have... Um, You'll see me pull them up here in the hallway in just a second. I really struggled with the hallways, but I decided I thought about cutting them out. I mean, but I don't know. I figured it'd be useful to some people. Maybe they like the way I decorated the hallways and maybe you would get some ideas for your own game. I really wanted to use like a china hutch, but it just felt like it was a little bit overkill and made the space a little bit too crowded. So I went with those jungle adventure plaques, which I think look really nice. And I thought it gave the house kind of the appearance that maybe the family that lives here is from Salvadorado or maybe they their parents were or the, you know their ancestors so they kind of have decorations and memorabilia from their home country maybe they travel there a lot and get like different artifacts and go shopping and get different memorabilia and take them back and decorate their home with it that's a pretty cool idea so I had a lot of fun with that and this is the downstairs office area and so I end up putting a computer desk in here I get an art easel nothing too crazy it's not the best decorated office I don't think but I really just wanted a space for the computer and some skill building items but if you needed an extra bedroom or anything else you could of course repurpose this room for your sims needs and I was really happy to be able to use the bay window seat that came with seasons in this room I haven't got a chance to use it in a build yet so I was really happy to finally have a good spot for it. and I thought this room was perfect your sim could sit there and read a book I wish they could lay down on it and just like put their feet up and read a book that'd be so cute but um, yeah I was really happy to use that and of course used it in that yellow and purple swatch which I thought was so much fun and matches the furniture in the living room and actually a lot of stuff that came with seasons matches the stuff from jungle adventure pretty nicely I was pretty impressed with how well they all came together and I added a cork board above the computer desk maybe they have some pin pals back in Salvador which I think is a pretty fun idea and speaking of fun ideas I got some great backstories on the last video that I shared from you guys you guys had some really cool ideas for the owners of the gym because just in case you didn't see it I have um, been doing some renovations of some EA lots and the last one that I shared was of movers and shakers is that what the gym's called I always forget it's like I think there is one in game that's called burners and shakers and then there's one that's movers and shakers <laughs> I get that I think that's correct but um yeah I renovated that and so many of you guys had some really cool backstories of the owners and I just loved it so I want to say thank you for leaving your guys's comments because it was so much fun to read and also thank you guys for your like support on those videos as well it's an idea that I've been thinking about for a while it's doing some renovations and I've tried to do them in the past I just didn't really have like a whole lot of confidence I guess with my renovations but um yeah you guys have been so great I really appreciate your guys's feedback and how excited you guys get to um I don't know in the comments you get so excited when I share them and talk about putting them in your game and so I just really appreciate that you guys have made it so much fun um, but this is the first bedroom I am decorating now I did skip over the family bathroom but it's basically the same as the downstairs laundry bathroom but um, a little bit more clutter and I forgot a toilet actually when I first decorated it so we do go back to it later and add a toilet so you'll be able to see it then and then as well in the screenshots too because I do share a couple of pictures of that and this room is very summery and very cute I loved using those sunflowers now I do go back in later and tone it down a little bit it doesn't stay this bright yellow but I was trying to 
I was trying to do something different than I have normally done in the past, but I think it I think it looks really nice in the end. I especially really like those flowers on the wall. They are so pretty. And I do end up moving the bed around and getting a different dresser in here because I don't have one at this point, but I, I always try to get a dresser or a closet at least in every bedroom, even though it doesn't necessarily matter because your Sims can go to a mirror to change their clothes or you can just click on them and make them change. But it's still, it's a nice bit of realism to have a dresser <laughs> somewhere to store your clothes you need some somewhere to have storage and then just put a few toys up here the lunchbox and lots of yellow items it was really an overpowering color scheme in this house I know but uh, it's a lot of fun and this room is up being a teenager's room and originally I was going to stick with that orange color but I end up I even I end up keeping some orange in here but I end up toning it down here in a little while and I went with this bed that came with seasons and I haven't used this bed as much as I have the other one that came with seasons so I was really happy to be able to use it in here but the other one I feel like is just a bit more mature so I use it in a lot of master bedrooms and this one I feel like is a little bit more suited for a teen I mean maybe you guys disagree but that's the vibe I get from it but do really like this bed I think both of the beds that came with seasons are really nice I'm very happy with them and I'm very happy with the way this room turned out but you guys will be proud of me I didn't use the other bed in the parents room because I felt like they needed just a different bed it didn't quite suit the color scheme that I went for in there and right now I'm just picking out some curtains I believe I just went with these ones that came with seasons because they're nice and neutral and yeah, felt like the walls were a bit much, but went with this like seafoam green color, which I think is really pretty. And then over here, I do get a TV for the teen and they get um, a game console so they can play some video games in here. And I put an ottoman at the end of the bed so they can sit there and play their video games. And I don't think I get a computer desk in here at all. So they don't really have anywhere to sit down and do homework, but that's okay. I mean, they can sit down at the dining table downstairs. So I try to put desks in a lot of my kids' rooms so they have somewhere to do their homework, but it doesn't really matter too much. And I was gonna use this chair right here that I had out for a second. It's kind of like a director's chair. I haven't, I don't think I've used that in a build yet. It's a really cool item and I thought it'd be pretty cool for a teen's room, but it didn't quite fit. So I put this orange ottoman with the little drawers. It looks like some storage there at the bottom, which I was pretty happy with. And the mess that came with parenthood on the floor because I like doing messy teen rooms. I've been talking about this for a while, how I need to probably do some teen rooms that are for very, I mean, I know I've done it in the past. I've done some pretty organized teen rooms. I think when Cats and Dogs first came out and I did a couple of family homes, I think one of those had a pretty like pink and like together bedroom. But a lot of my teen rooms, I like to make them messy. I feel like it's more relatable, at least for me, because I was a messy teen. Oh, and I pulled out that uh, thing from Jungle Adventure that was like that board, I guess it's I don't know exactly what it says, but I thought that'd be a cool item in there. I didn't really have a great place to put it, but it's an idea for a future build. And this is going to be the master bedroom, and I really do like the way it turns out. It takes me a while to sort of figure out exactly the direction I wanted to go in this room, but I think it turns out classy, and it's not overly colorful like the rest of the house, but I feel like it has just enough color to still fit in with the house, but look like a mature adult's bedroom. Hopefully that makes sense. And I ended up going with this darker color scheme, which is pretty contrasting to the rest of the house, but I really liked the purples and the greens in this rug. And I felt like it looked pretty good with this city living four post bed. And so a lot of the woods in that room are a bit darker to match as well, which I really like. I'm pretty happy with the way this room turns out and they have an amazing view of the backyard so they can see the barbecue area and the sand back, sandbox. I almost said sandbags. <laughs> um, and so if the kids are playing back there, then they can have an eye on them if they're sitting in their room for whatever reason. I mean, I don't see why they would be. <laughs> that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But um, yeah, do really like the way it turns out. And a few little bits of clutter here on the dresser just to kind of make it look lived in of course that's why I always add clutters to make things look lived in and I really liked using that painting that came with seasons it has like the uh, I don't know exactly it's like a desert image with the sun and the sunset it's really pretty and it comes in two different swatches so I used one swatch downstairs in the living room and then one swatch here in the bedroom which I'm very happy with the way that turned out I thought it was really pretty and this is the master bathroom so they do have an ensuite to their bedroom so what is that two and a half baths and four bedrooms so it's a pretty good sized house very happy about that um, but uh yeah so just cluttering it up with a little bits of makeup and soap and whatnot but I really like the way this bathroom turned out but here we are in the family bathroom and I switch out the shower for a single one and put in a toilet because somehow I forgot that I went to go pull out the toilet for the master bathroom and I was like wait a second I don't think I put a toilet in the other bathroom there's not much point of just having a shower and a sink 
with <laughs> you need a toilet as well and I figured since there was just a bath in here we didn't need the shower and tub combo in the other one so um, yeah this bathroom though I really like I think it turned out so nice with those candles on that little stool which I thought looked so pretty and I was also able to use those parenthood items that have that kind of distressed sea foam it's actually more than a sea foam it's like a turquoise color green and really happy with the way that turned out because I haven't used those items before I mean I've used them but in different swatches and really happy to be able to use that particular swatch because I really like those it's just kind of very it's very specific to a certain style so I felt like this one suited it really nicely and this is the nursery and it looks so cute I had mentioned recently how I needed to do more toddler rooms and nurseries because I hadn't really done them that much so recently I shared a house that had twin toddlers and this one has a nursery so you could easily switch out the bassinet for a little toddler bed if you need to and then of course when the kids grow up it'd be easy to turn this into a regular bedroom but I really had fun trying to trying to make it like a cutesy little nursery and then we have the changing table on the other side of the room and I just lifted up an ottoman into the dresser lots of people have done that in their videos and I think it's a really great way to make it look like a changing table I wish we could really do more with our baby sims I mean it's kind of sad they're just like these little objects that sit in their crib and they can't really go anywhere they can't go out through the house they can't go on walks like why can't we take them in strollers and walk around the neighborhood that would be so nice I mean that is definitely something that is really lacking and the baby stage is just so boring because of that but nurseries look cool so I had a lot of fun doing that and over here I'm just struggling to pick out a picture for the wall oh I put a sun there I forgot about that um, but so at this point I still felt like this room was overpowering and I almost switched to like this overly like pinky bedroom but I do that a lot so I tried to still stick with the original idea that I had just toning it down slightly with some greens and I think I get a different rug in here because the frog rug was just a bit much I felt like so I think I get like a neutral colored rug or something maybe a blue rug I'm forgetting we're gonna find out together here in a second a blue rug <laughs> I think that looks nice and then decorating the patio areas with some furniture I think on this one I get a couple of seats and a, oh some pots for growing flowers of course and then a yoga mat as well so your sims can do a bit of exercise that is one of my favorite items to have in a family home or any home is a, a yoga mat I always have my sims do yoga it's one of my favorite like activities for my sims to do now these lanterns are in the lighting category like they show up as lights but they actually didn't seem to emit any light so I ended up not putting them on the bat or on the porches but I don't I don't know they look nice but I, I wanted them to be lit up so I ended up not using that in the end and at this point I remembered this wicker love seat that came with movie hangout and it suited the style of this house perfectly so I was so happy to use that there I think I ended up using it on the back porch as well because I had to use it twice I think I may have used it in the same color but I don't care I think it works so nicely it has it's kind of like a bohemian but it works with this sort of Mediterranean style that I was going for I really liked it and I think it looks really nice so that is it for the build um we are coming up on the screenshots I hope you guys did like this one definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments and I hope you guys enjoyed the screenshots so thank you so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions you have I'll talk to you guys soon bye